In Osho, the year 2020 was one where palliatives were shared to millions of Nigerians, particularly the vulnerables, to cushion the effect of the lockdown occasioned by the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. Well, that's what government says. It was a period the economy of both the government and the governed was paralyzed. Our correspondent Rafi Hamad takes a look at the impact of the distribution of these palliatives on the beneficiaries. The idea of palliatives came about in April 2020, following lockdown imposed on people by both federal and state governments to prevent further spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Several state governments set up committees to carry out this task to cushion the effect of the lockdown on the people, particularly the vulnerables. Elected representatives, top government functionaries, traditional rulers and philanthropists also made their impact during this time. This is aside the palliatives provided by Kakovid. But between the 23rd and 24th of October same year, many states of the Federation witnessed massive looting of the palliatives allegedly kept by governments. Lagos, Plateau and Cross River states were the most hit. Osho State had its fair share of the looting during the period. We have room to do better going forward because people are still in need. And we must realize that at this level, the most dangerous, dangerous evil in Nigeria today is army of people that don't care whether they are citizens or not. Unfortunately, the hoodlums also destroyed and looted personal property of some people, the national silo in Ilesha, and one of the biggest privately owned farms in Nigeria, located in Oshogo, among others. And everything, the finished product is over 100 and something million, so that is all, so far we can quantify. But until we start the, running the machine and see what and what, whether we need to wait until we import some of the spare parts, is there, is there, <laughs> I think I should allow me to just. We see somebody who has spent his own money to create jobs our people and we now have this kind of huge laws coming from people that are supposed to benefit from this establishment. It's very unfortunate. Though some of the perpetrators were arrested but were later released, some of the looted items were also recovered and returned to the owners. A civil rights activist, White Saka, speaks on the impact of the palliatives on the people. The government should see to that every citizen, no citizen, yeah, let, us, let me put it that way, no citizen go be, to bed hungry. That should be the priority of every government. Our people need help, and the government should be ready to render it. 2020 was a year that will never be forgotten in a hurry, not only by Nigerians, but across the globe. It's however noteworthy that it was the year the vulnerables received numerous food items and cash gifts, not only from government and wealthy individuals, but also from average Nigerians to show that they care for them. Rafiq Hamid, TVC News, Ushugo.